Hi, my name is Roger Alvarez and I work with the Viva Auto Group and today we're going to cover some of the frequently asked questions about leasing. What kind of customers should get into a lease? All right, so customers that basically love upgrading their vehicle every two to three years, um, customers that, fee that want to feel the peace of mind that they're always going to be under warranty, okay? Customers that that um, take care of the vehicles, basically. And they, and like I said, back to the same first answer, customers that love upgrading vehicles. There's a lot of benefits uh, for, a lease, for leasing a vehicle. One of the main benefits that, I, that I've always tell my customers is, with a lease, you're gonna have options, okay? You're gonna have options instead of obligations. Let me explain to you a little bit more into that. So when you lease a vehicle, you're going to start knowing your residual, knowing the term that you're going to be using the vehicle and the miles that you're going to be putting per year. Now, when it comes to the miles, I know we say per year, but they're not going to go check on you every year. All right. Because I get that question a lot. Are they going to go? Are they going to watch the miles? Yes, but it's only till the end of the term. So it could be that one year you drive it a lot. One year you drive, you don't drive it that much. But at the end of the term, you're, you're going to have a certain miles, right? So one of the best op, the, the best qualities of a lease is options. OK, so leasing, they go from 24 to 48 months, right? On a regular tr or traditional purchase, like an APR purchase, what we call it, um, you're going to have terms going from 36 months all the way to 84 months. OK, so we're talking about a four year difference here on the lease and on a tr traditional purchase. To kind of break it down for you, we have two customers that both got into a vehicle at the same time, but one leased the vehicle and one purchased the vehicle. This customer that purchased the vehicle went 84 months term to have a, uh, what we call a comfortable payment. But this customer that leased the vehicle went 48 months. The difference between leasing and purchasing a vehicle is that this customer that leased the vehicle is gonna have options at the middle of the term instead of this customer that it's gonna to have to wait 84 months in order for him to be able to upgrade vehicle or trade it in. So one of the benefits of a lease is that this customer that leased a vehicle at the end of the 48 months is gonna have three options, okay? He's gonna have the option of, you know what? I love this vehicle so much. It's been great for me these past four years and I wanna keep it, okay? I was the driver of this vehicle, so I'm gonna buy this vehicle, okay? You already know what you're buying um, um, at the end of the term. Second option is, you know what? I want to trade it in. I saw the newer model that came out this year. I love it. It's, it's going to be better for me. It's going to look great on my uh, driveway. I want to trade it in. Okay. And the last option would be, you know what? My something ha happened. Um, I won't be able to keep this vehicle anymore. Or most of the times is you had a bad experience with the vehicle, which we we would love to hate, we would hate to see that, but it happens. And um, leasing a vehicle will give you that option. Instead of having to wait 84 months to return the vehicle, you can wait 48 months and, he, and be like, hey, you know what, Roger? I'm gonna go a different route. I don't need this vehicle anymore. Here you go. And you have that option, okay? Because you can keep it, like I said, trade it or return it. That's the benefit of a lease, okay? Another benefit that I forgot to mention is most of the times is customers want to have a peace of mind. Okay. And like, like everything accident, accidents happen. Okay. When you lease a vehicle, I don't know if every, everyone has heard about gap insurance or gap coverage, but um, when you lease a vehicle gap is part of release. I'm going to give you a little quick um, information on gap, but what gap does for you is in the event that your vehicle is a total loss, your insurance, it's only set to pay what the vehicle is worth. It's not gonna pay any taxes that you might have uh, leased on top of the price of the vehicle. It's not, they're not gonna pay anything that if you traded in a vehicle that you were upside down or had negative equity, the insurance is not gonna pay that. So what happens is, let's say you lease a vehicle that's worth 20 grand, right? And the um, um, you get into a car accident, they crash into you, crash into somebody, the vehicle stolen, uh, any any damages that might have happened, um, your insurance is said to pay you only what the car is worth, which could be fifteen thousand, right? Um, the gap is, in, but you still owe twenty grand to this vehicle. The gap is going to pay that difference, those extra five grand. 
And the benefits of leasing a vehicle is that the gap is part of the lease, all right? So whereas to on a traditional purchase, that's something that um, you would have to pay an extra additional cost to, to get the gap. So those are the benefits of a lease. You know what? I don't see a reason not to lease. Most of the time, customers that decide not to lease or that want to go a traditional purchase is, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna blame myself is most of the times we don't inform the customers well enough to make the right decision. Um, we have a few customers that I always get them coming back from a traditional purchase like every two or three years, and I ask them why didn't you lease this vehicle, and most of the times is. I get the same answer. You know what? Um, leasing is, I'm never gonna own the vehicle. I'm always gonna be renting this vehicle. Or that same thing, I don't wanna rent the vehicle. And and you know what? When it comes to leasing, you're not renting a vehicle. Because in both instances, on the purchase and on the lease, you're the actual owner of the vehicle. Well, you're gonna have possession of the vehicle and the vehicle is gonna be under your name. So you're actually the owner. But the difference is, like I mentioned is, Lease, you're going to have options. Purchase, yes, you're going to own the vehicle, but you're going to have to own it for 84 months. Instead of a lease, you lease the vehicle, you're still the owner, the plates, you're still going to renew the plates under your name, but you're going to have 48 months instead of 84. You know what I mean? So most of the customers that um, don't get into a lease is because they feel like they're renting the vehicle or that they're not going to own the vehicle. And I always tell them, when you purchase a vehicle, and you finance the vehicle, you're still not the owner because the bank is still actually the owner until you pay off the vehicle at the end of the four months. So I always ask this question, do you wanna pay this bank 84 months and keep this vehicle for 84 months, for instance, or you wanna pay 48 months and be able to switch out to a different vehicle? So what we encourage here in the Viva Auto Group is for you to reach out to us and um, ask us questions about leasing that way you can make the right decision when it comes into this because buying a vehicle it's the second most important thing in your life aside from buying your house so we encourage the customers to ask that we can make that right decision i guess it's just going to be a matter of opinion okay most of the customers that lease a vehicle are super happy they tend to to come and upgrade their vehicles more often. When you purchase a vehicle, we get the same customers and they're both happy. Both customers are gonna be happy. But um, it all comes into play the factors where are you gonna use it for, for work? Are you gonna be using it for uh, businesses? Then here we'll be able to help you and this, we'll be able to help you find what's gonna be better for you, lease a vehicle or purchase a vehicle. That's another great question. Yes, there, anybody can lease. There are different factors as well that come into play. As um, you want to take advantage of a lease and want to take advantage of the, the, the great benefits, um, anybody can can lease a vehicle. Okay, there are some qualifications that go into play. Um, your credit factor, your credit health, that comes into play a lot. So, based on those factors, we'll we'll be able to tell you. Um, the like anything we'll be able to tell you your monthly payment and all that so anybody can lease can you lease a vehicle with no money down yes you can um although leases uh some manufacturers are gonna have different programs when it comes coming to that come into play most customers have a zero down zero do at signing some have zero down, first payment due at signing. So it's just gonna depend on all the manufacturers, but most of the times you can do it with no money down. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, here we live close to a military base. So we get a lot of customers, a lot of military personnel coming into leasing the vehicles. And for some reason they get restationed different city, different state, and they lease the vehicle. And the most common question is, do I have to take my vehicle back to the seven dealership? And the right answer is no. We encourage you to bring it back here if you still uh, live in, in El Paso. But if you move for any reason, um, different city, different state, all you gotta do is once your term is over 
and you're getting ready to return the vehicle, you're gonna call your manufacturer and you're gonna tell them that your lease is almost over and you wanna return the vehicle and they'll give you instructions and and they'll tell you where what's the next closest location that you can take it. But yes, you can return it anywhere in the US. You know what? Specific questions would come into play on a personal level, I would say. But um, the most frequent questions that you can ask is, what's my residual? What term works best for me? Uh, the type of programs that they have, the manufacturers, like I mentioned before, the zero, zero down, zero do at signing. You can ask those questions to your sales representative um, and that would get you into a better understanding of the lease program and if it's gonna be better for you.